Welcome back uh, to the Commission's press room. It's Friday, April 30th, and we're here for a press conference on an antitrust case. We have with us Executive Vice President Vestager. The floor is yours, thanks. Well, thank you very much. Um, uh, today, uh, today, the Commission has uh, sent a statement of objection to Apple. Uh, our preliminary conclusion is that Apple abused its dominant position for the distribution of music streaming apps through its App Store and distorted competition in the music streaming market. This case is about the central role of app stores. It is central in the digital economy. Apps has fundamentally changed uh, the way we use our mobile devices. We can now do our shopping, play games, access news, music, or movies directly through apps instead of visiting websites. There's been an exponential growth in the number of apps, but there are essentially two main app stores, Apple's App Store and the Google Play Store. Both of them provide access to millions of apps uh, developed by hundreds of thousands of developers. Apple's App Store specifically hosts 1.8 million apps. This market development benefits both businesses and consumers. But app stores also benefit from very strong network effects. App stores with the most users, well, they are the most attractive for app developers. And that in turn leads to more apps being available for consumers on that app store. Due to these network effects, an app store can become a gatekeeper, in particular if there's only one app store available in a mobile ecosystem, as is the case for Apple's app store. Apple devices are used by millions of Europeans, and users are very loyal. They don't switch easily. For example, owners of Apple App Stores, Apple uh, devices, are not likely to switch to another device uh, with the Google Play Store just because music streaming is more expensive on the Apple App Store. So Google Play Store is not an effective alternative to reach the millions of Apple device owners. Those can only use the Apple App Store to buy their apps. To reach Apple users, music streaming providers, they have to go via the App Store and accept the rules that Apple imposes on them. Our preliminary finding is that Apple exercises considerably market power in the distribution of music streaming apps to owners of Apple devices. On that market, Apple has a monopoly. The company not only controls the only access to apps on Apple devices, it also offers a music streaming service, Apple Music, that competes with other apps available in the Apple App Store, such as Spotify or Deezer. Our preliminary competition concern relates to two conditions imposed to access the Apple App Store. First, there is a mandatory use of Apple's own in-app purchase system to buy digital content. Here, Apple charges a 30% commission fee for all purchases throughout its system. This means that music streaming providers cannot sell subscription in their apps without paying a 30% fee to Apple each month on each subscription. Our investigation showed that this fee was passed on to end users by raising prices, uh, typically from 9.99 to 12.99 euros. Our second concern is about the so-called anti-steering provisions. They limit the ability of app developers to inform iPad or iPhone users of alternative cheaper subscriptions available elsewhere. In fact, to avoid paying the 30% commission, some music uh, streaming providers decided to stop offering paid subscriptions in their apps. 
This is what Spotify decided to do in 2016. Since then, customers can download the Spotify app in the Apple App Store, but they cannot purchase any subscription for Spotify's premium services in that app. And Apple's anti-steering rules limit the ability of music streaming providers to inform their users about different ways, in different ways. Not only are they not allowed to mention their websites or any link to them in their own apps, they are also not allowed to send emails to users that created an account uh, in the app in order to inform them about cheaper alternatives. So Apple device users pay significantly higher prices for some music services. Or for services like Spotify, they cannot buy certain subscriptions directly in the app. And Apple not only sets the rules for the App Store, it also competes with its own app against many app providers. Our concern is that Apple distorts competition in the music streaming market to the benefit of Apple's own music streaming service, Apple Music. Apple Music is not subject to any of these rules and it's offered at a price at typically 9.99 euros. We are concerned that Apple's rules negatively impacts its rivals by raising its costs, reducing their profit margins as well uh, as their attractiveness on the Apple platform. Through these rules, Apple steps in between its competitors and their customers. With access to valuable data from the in-app payment uh, system, Apple gets insights that music streaming providers don't get. For example, they may no longer be in a position to understand the reasons of termination of a subscription and communicate with their customers about them. To conclude, due to Apple's rules on the App Store, music streaming providers essentially have two choices. Either they pay a fee on 30% of each subscription bought in the, app, in the App Store and raises their prices without being able to inform their users of cheaper offers. Or they, use, they lose the access to Apple device users for paid subscriptions. So today's statements of objection specifically follows up on a number of concerns raised by music streaming providers who directly compete with Apple Music, including the complaint filed by Spotify. Apple's conditions affect all music streaming providers competing with Apple Music, in particular the smaller ones, such as Deezer or SoundCloud. And of course, App Store rules are a concern for many app developers beyond music streaming because they depend on the Apple App Store as a gatekeeper to access users of Apple's iPhones and iPads. And this significant market power cannot go unchecked. It cannot go unchecked as the conditions of access to the Apple App Store is key for the success of app developers. Competition investigation in digital markets must be sufficiently timely to have an impact. It is reassuring that the music streaming services competing with Apple Music continue to operate still today. But we're also seeing clear signs that Apple's condition in its App Store affects their business developments. This statement of objection comes less than a year after opening the formal proceedings in this case. And despite COVID restrictions, uh, and this despite uh, COVID uh, restrictions that had kept my teams under very difficult working conditions. Apple will now have the opportunity to answer to our concerns. Obviously, we re remain committed to enforce competition law in order to keep the markets open, undistorted, and based on fair competition. Thank you. <laughs>